Hey David, Kylie here with RinGen SEO and Digital Marketing. I apologize for the delay on this video. I uh, wanted to make sure I got this over to you as soon as possible. We we're doing some traveling, so it took me a hot minute. But uh, here we are getting this put together for you. hope it helps, and uh, we're, we're going to go right into it. So a um, couple things we're going to talk about today that I hope will help you out on bringing some more you know, organic, exclusive business your way without having to you know, hassle through people on Craigslist and all that fun stuff. Um, first one's actually going to be uh, content, but... Um, First, I wanted to show you, I guess, a method to my madness here. So I'm actually using a competitor's website, uh, for example, on content. Uh, I couldn't find a website for you. It doesn't look like you have one. If you do, I do apologize. But this is a competitor in your area. And what I wanted to do is make sure that we have right in front of our face what I'm trying to show you. Uh, content is king in the eyes of Google. Uh, the more content that you have on a site, more relevant content, rather, uh, the better you're going to be picked up for keywords, key phrases, for services that you offer in your service area. Uh, like I said, more content, the better. Um, about 1,500 words for any page that you're trying to be found for. So whether that's your homepage or you actually have like additional service pages on your website when you do decide to put one together, um, having 1,500 words minimum on each one of those pages that are talking about each specific service that you offer, whether it's different types of fences, um, et cetera, and then incorporating different keywords and phrases that people or users search when they're looking for your services onto those pages. When I type in Fence Company Houston, Texas, uh, I don't see you popping up anywhere. I don't know if you have a Google business page, but I could not find one in the map pack here, um, and I couldn't find one organically for a website. Ideally, what we want to do uh, is, or what you want to do rather, is get yourself into these top three positions here. This is where people are going to see, or businesses are going to see the most return on um, you know, what they're doing with their pages here. You're missing out on a lot of action with the amount of people searching for your services. Like this in particular has 200 search volume per month. So there's 200 people searching for fence services in Houston on a monthly basis that you're missing out on. Not only do you want to be in these top three positions, but you also want to be on the first page of Google, which is anything less than uh, 10 and below. So positions 10 or below. That's going to get you some additional business as well. I'm not sure who you're using right now, whether you know, you're doing like Angie's List or anything like that, or if you're just doing Craigslist type advertising. Um, but you know, these Google pages are, are free to create. So if you want to go at it and do it on your own, um, it's something you can do. Just do some additional research on you know, what exactly gets you into this map pack here. Uh, one of those things that will actually help get you in here is citations. Citations can kind of come off as like a negative word because in the real world, we, real, real world, we think you know, citations are a... Um, a bad thing. Uh, online citations are a blessing and what they do is actually help Google find your site more relevant. They find out, you know, help Google define what your actual services are that you offer. And citations can be found in thousands of different places. What a citation actually is, is anywhere on the web that your business name, address, and phone number is listed, and that would be through various online directories. So we're talking like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau. The list goes on and on and on. The better quality citations that you have, linking back to your um, Google business page, the more relevant Google is going to find you, uh, and that is one way to help get up into the top of the map back here. Another way is to do um, photos. So the more photos that you have on a website, or on a Google business page, rather, I'm sorry, uh, the better, and then saving those photos correctly. So making sure that you actually have these photos saved as keywords and they're geotagged and all that fun stuff. They're the right file sizes. That's all going to help. And then reviews. We recommend having at least 25 Google reviews. Obviously, as you can see, your top competitor here has 283, which is pretty extensive. Um, not going to be easy to beat, especially if you're first starting out, but it's not the most important factor. There's a lot that comes into play. So even just being able to, you know, get 25 plus going uh, over the long run is going to help you get up into the top here. So don't let that discourage you. Um, there's always ways to try to get up in here and beat out these top competitors. Uh, looked up your name specifically here to Viles Construction. Again, um, didn't see you. If any of these are you, I apologize, but um, you're not here. So again, wanting to find you. So if someone's typing in your company name, your competitors are actually pulling up before you, and that's not good. Uh, using the same competitor as reference, the next thing we're going to talk about is backlinks. So these three things are the main components to uh, being able to rank a site on Google and be found organically. Uh, first one was content, second one citations, this last one here is going to be backlinks. 
Backlinks can get pretty confusing and intricate. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I don't want to confuse you, but if you have more questions after this video, please feel free to reach out. Um, but uh, essentially what a backlink is, is one website linking to another website and which what that does is tell Google, hey Google, this site is trustworthy. Okay, so the more relevant and non-spammy, so uh, uh, not, uh, relevant and um, trustworthy referring domains, so referring websites that you have coming, pushing back power to your website, the more Google's going to find you, again, relevant, they're going to find you trustworthy, and then that helps to rank you in the organic section of Google. So that's what you're seeing here. Uh, this company here is being found for over 6,000 organic keywords. Um, the more keywords you have doesn't necessarily mean better. Uh, what we try to do is focus on relevant keywords, so buyer intent type keywords, which is what I want to actually show you here. And these are some of the keywords that you're actually missing out on. So Houston Fence Company, Fence Company Houston, Fence Repair, uh, Houston Fence, Fence Installation Houston. And this is just fence. So if I were to put in here fencing, uh, we'd also get a list of keywords as well. This here is the volume and this is on a monthly basis. So you're missing out on probably thousands of search volume every month that could really fill up your time with better quality, better paying customers rather than screwing around with, you know, anything that you're not wanting to do and filling up your time with, you know, uh, nitpicky stuff where you really don't want to be involved in it. Um, so just, you know, take a look at all this stuff, do some more research. Um, if it can, you know, if you, if you feel like you want to, to try to get this going for yourself. Um, like I said, we hope this helps. And if you have any questions, concerns, please feel free to reach out to us. Thanks so much.